One main thing to remember with your cuttings is anything that has a flower on it needs to be removed because we don't want strength from the flowers to take away or the growth of the flowers to take away from the strength of the cutting. What we want to do now is this plant to focus on callusing and forming roots so we develop a new plant. And this is a typical butterfly bush so we would just take the flowers off and again take a cutting. Now when you get it off the plant like this you need to make sure that you remember which side is up because it will not root upside down. And again we scar the base lightly. Rooting hormone, dibble, and then stick it into our soil. And then as these plants grow, if it is a flowering plant, we will need to make sure that we keep those flowers off of the plant again so that it won't put more strength into flowers and less strength into forming root systems. So we spoke about our evergreen cuttings with the spruce. And our basis cuttings with the rosemary. And then this is a vine. It's actually a bignonia vine called Tangerine Beauty. And with vines, you can take several cuttings off of one section of plant. So we could actually get one, two, three, or four cuttings off of this, this section of plant. And that's how a lot of your plants are produced and how we perpetuate our plants for sale in the nursery. Again, same principle, scarring the stem, dipping in hormone, and then again it goes right into the flat. Another group of plants that hopefully you'll have an opportunity to work with are your tropical plants. These are plants that grow in the greenhouse or house plants. Um, they readily develop root systems in a propagation situation. Now this is called a leaf cutting. So we have a leaf and a petiole. And these are a little bit limp because I did take these earlier, but typically this would be um, very rigid, stand up. Now we typically don't use a rooting hormone for a really soft petiole like this. So what we do is just take this and stick it straight into the soil. And again you notice that I made a cutting about three to five inches long. You don't want too much material on there. Cut the petiole. Now this is a lot of leaf surface. So what we have to do is reduce that leaf surface by cutting away some of that. And just enough so it still can receive light and produce food to grow. And again we stick it in the soil. And you may recognize this plant. It's a fig tree. Um, this is going to be a cutting that will have some, some bark on it or some woody material. So we will use rooting hormone for this. And again, we're going to take that cutting, remove some lower limb leaves. We'll scar the bark on that. Now these leaves are also a little bit long. And the reason we do this is we don't want too much leaf area because what will happen is now that we've removed it from its life support from its mother plant, you know, there's nothing there to support it and it'll desiccate or dry out quicker. So we want to reduce that leaf surface. Stick it in the rooting hormone and place it into our propagation media. That covers our material on plant propagation. Thank you for joining us, and again, we hope you uh, take the time to visit the Arboretum sometime soon.